Welcome to Spinelli Speaks. Hi everyone, Danny here. Welcome to my channel. Today is a vlog day um, and it is really early right now. Um, today is Dewey's 24 hour readathon, which starts at 7. It is quarter to 6. So that's like 5.45. I could not sleep. Which means that today is probably going to suck a little bit. <laughs> like, as in, if I didn't sleep well, how the heck am I going to stay up to read? <laughs> so needless to say, I got up. I'm up with the dogs. And I'm going to make some coffee. I'm going to get ready for my live show. And we'll see how the rest of the day goes. <laughs> So it is still only about quarter after six. I was able to make myself a delicious cup of coffee. Yes, ma'am. I hope this kicks in soon. This, if you remember from my unboxing video, is my beautiful mug from Books and Treasures. I love this mug so much and it's perfect for fall. Mm -mm -mm. This is like the third time I have used it since I have had it because I love it. It's so cute. Um, so I figured before I started my live show, which is called Wake Up With Me, I'm already awake, um, I figured I would pop on and just share with you what I'm going to be reading today for the readathon. So I'm really far behind in reading. Like September and October were not kind to me as far as my TBR goes, but for obvious reasons, getting married, a lot of things had to be backburnered until I could refocus. On that. Now I did keep up with my readathon or read along, yeah, read along <laughs> of Crime and Punishment. I made sure that I kept up on that. Um, but we have one more part and the epilogue to read before this next weekend where we have the last live show on Halloween. So I have to read the very last section. Um, so I'm going to get to that first. Um, so I'll be reading that during my live read with me um, and making sure that I um, make my little tabs so that I'm ready to ask some really great questions. So that's gonna be my first book on my TBR. If you followed me on Instagram, I'll be sharing all of these things too because Dewey's does have like a um, posting schedule, I guess you could say. And it looks like hour one is the first book on your TBR. So you'll definitely see a picture of Crime and Punishment on there for sure. And then it looks like hour four is uh, makes a small poem with book titles, which where you're sitting right now is my uh, book cart and there are a ton <laughs> of books there that I haven't been able to get to. I intended to read them in September and there they sit. So I'm hoping to try to get to some of those as well, but my main priority are the are my little TBR here that I'll, I'm gonna share with you. Um, Hour 7 is a book that screams Halloween, which I definitely have one of those. Um, favorite fuzzy socks, uh, favorite book cover, sunrise versus sunset, uh, favorite bookmark, favorite guilty snack, and then the last hour is picture of everything you've read. So they really, I think, 
I want to say in April when I did this, there was something for every single hour. And quite honestly, I was a little overwhelmed. Or maybe it was I was posting every hour. I don't know. I was super overwhelmed. And that was my first Dewey's. So seeing this is broken up in almost like four or, set, or, or three hour increments, I feel a little bit better that I'm just going to kind of go throughout the day and read as much as I can, but not trouble myself with like, oh my gosh, you need to read. Like I'm just going to do what I need to do because I do have a lot of housework that I want to get done too. So I'm going to put in an audio book. Um, right now I'm listening to Beard With Me, which is the sixth book in the Penny Reed uh, Winston Brothers series, um, which is a series of like romance novels, but they're really good. I really like them. And I said that like, but they're really good, like as if rose romance novels aren't good. That's not what I meant. <laughs> um, I really uh, like them. I really like the fact that they're um, built more on the male perspective or meant to be, even though the book does carry on both sides, the male and the female perspective. Um, I just, but I just like this male narrator because I'm listening to them all in audiobook. I love his narration. I don't know what it is about it. It's the same man throughout all of the books. And it's sometimes um, the same woman, but usually it's every other book is a different woman. Um, there's one that has done it, I think, three times now. But the man, I think his name is Chris something. He's so good. I just, every time I hear his voice and for certain characters too, like whenever he does Cletus's voice, I'm just like, hey, <laughs> Cletus. <laughs> I love it. So, anywho, back to my TBR. So, I'm going to start with Crime and Punishment and see how much I can get out of that. I Like I said, I only have about, I'd say maybe 100 or so pages left because it's the last part and the epilogue. Then, um, I want to finish. So, in September, oh, this poor woman, I, I feel so bad. And I thank Emily at Novel Novels so much for being patient with me. But we were doing a buddy read of The Hypnotist Love Story in September. And I got about this far in and just had to pause and, and deal with wedding stuff. So I would really like to finish this today. So it looks like I'm on 285 and I think it's like, th it's like 440 pages long or something. So I think I can finish it today. Um, in Dewey's readathon last time, I read all of What Alice Forgot, which is another Leanne Moriarty book. Um, so I, I just want to finish this because poor Emily, she like had this buddy read with me. She finished the book, um, and we just never really got to talk about it. And I feel awful about it, but, um, she's been so patient and so kind. So I'm, I want to finish this today. So this will be probably the second book that I start reading, um, throughout the morning as I, um, jump into Dewey's. Then... I also have a buddy read going on this month um, with Tara over at Buzzword Books. We are reading um, Eric Larson's The Devil in the White City. So this is about um, an architect. I think his last name is Bauman. Um, but he is one of the architects that um, help uh, erect the great um, ex uh, exhibition. That was in like 19, oh, I can't remember the date. Um, but in Chicago, the great uh, World Fair or whatever. Um, and it, it follows him. And then it also follows H.H. H. Holmes, which if you remember, he is a huge serial killer that like basically lured people, mainly women, into this hotel of fright <laughs> and murdered them but as you read you're really reading um from earlier on and this guy was a psychopath i mean from from childhood <laughs> uh this is a non-fiction i believe um i'm pretty sure uh, it reads like non-fiction so um i'll double check on that but i'm fairly certain this is non-fiction which it makes it even more creepy because it's it's written very well it's written in a like a almost like a, a narrative non-fiction um which i really like for for a non-fiction book so um i want to really dive into this um this is for this month so i'm not behind really but um 
This one takes me a little bit longer to read because there is there's so much historical events here that I'm really just trying to focus and make sure that I'm putting all of the things in line together. Um, but yeah, I want to get in. I want to maybe get in at least 100, if not 150 pages of this today as well. We'll see how far I can get. Then I know the list goes on. Danny, your TBR lists are crazy. Um, this will be great for the Halloween post, but for my book club, we are reading Dorothy Must Die by Danielle Page. I am about 160 pages in. Again, this is for October, so I'm not behind on this either, but um, <laughs> what am I kidding? I have one week left of October. <laughs> Danny, get on the ball. Um, this is a YA novel. It's basically set in Oz. Um, a young girl, Amy, about, I think she's like 16 or something, 15 or 16. She lands herself in Oz from a tornado. Um, and you find out that this story basically takes place after Dorothy saves Oz. She goes back to Kansas. But she comes back and... Dorothy's not the person you thought she was. She um, is is wicked, I guess you could say. And there is a um, group of people that want her dead so that Oz can go back to its pri uh, previous glory. So um, it's, again, a YA novel. There's bits that I really enjoy, and there's bits where I'm like, ah! This is a YA novel, um, but I'm I am enjoying it overall. I really like the Wizard of Oz um, movie. I have not yet actually read the book, um, but I just we used to watch it so much as kids, and it's just always been um, a staple in my in my childhood and my adult life as well. So reading this is really just bringing back a lot of memories, and I'm really enjoying it. So that's another book that I'm going to be. Um, reading so i'm sorry this clip was so long but just wanted to give you a little heads up um many of you will probably have already seen this in my live show um but for those of you who weren't in the live show that's kind of what i am going to be reading today so then you know i have four lovely books and some more that i might uh try to tackle later too so okay we'll see you later okay so I had my live show with the read with me, which was awesome. Um, so thank you to everyone who participated in that. Then I continued reading. Um, this morning I start started with Crime and Punishment. I had parts six and the epilogue to finish. I just finished that. And I don't know how I feel about that. I, I'm gonna have to like ruminate on that for a little while. So it is about 10 o'clock a.m. So we're about three hours into our read-a-thon um, or read-along. I keep interchanging those words, but you know what I mean. So I'm going to get some stuff done in the kitchen here. And um, while I'm doing that, I'm going to listen to my audiobook, um, which is the Penny Reed uh, Winston Brothers series. I'm on book six, so I'm about halfway through, so I'm hoping I can get some more reading done in that. So, it's chore time. Okay, it's been a really long while since I last checked in. I think the last time I saw you, I was going to do dishes. It's like 10 o'clock in the morning. It's not like 4.30. I did the dishes. I took a shower. I had lunch. I listened to an audiobook and then I went and finished the rest of Leanne Moriarty's The Hypnotist Love Story because I had to finish it. I was supposed to finish this in September with Emily from Novel Novels. I just sent her a Voxer message letting her know what my thoughts were. Um, it was good. I think I'm going to make it like a tradition for any time I do a Dewey's readathon, read along, I don't know, that I'm going to read a Leanne Moriarty. Last time I read uh, What Alice Forgot, this time The Hypnotist Love Story, and Moriarty is just a really good writer to read when you are doing something like this because it's so easy, it just flows, it really doesn't feel like you're reading for that long but I mean I read from like one until four 
read three straight hours and finished it, which I really liked it. It was good. It just, there were moments where I thought it was going to go down a really crazy path and like we were going to have characters that we really didn't like. And by the time you got to the end, you were really surprised. I don't want to spoil anything for you, but if you are interested in a really like interwoven like it's like an interweb it's like so many things are so connected it's so good like it's it's very good very good writing um really excellent book i really did like this so right now i'm going to figure out what we need to do for dinner i'll probably listen to an audiobook during that time and then after that while we're waiting for dinner to be done or something i think i'm going to read some of my book club book which is Dorothy Must Die. I would like to get like maybe 150 more pages done of this today if not more so that's what I'm going to be doing. Well needless to say like I said this morning or yesterday morning because today is a new morning I think my poor sleeping and waking up too early for Dewey's set me on a path to having to go to bed super early. I conked out at like 9.30. But before I did that, I was able to get a little bit more reading done. So I did read a little bit in the uh, Dorothy Must Die. Um, not too far. I was getting really kind of like woozy feeling. <laughs> so I was like, maybe I need to do some reading of something that's a little less needing to be concentrated on. So I read... Bloodlust and Bonnets. And I really wanted to like this, guys. It is basically these three characters. Um, uh, this is Lord Byron. Sir Walter Scott is in here as well. So there's like literary references. Um, and these three companions are basically trying to find this vampire woman who like is the head of this cult and at first glance you're like yeah that sounds great <sighs> I'm giving this a one star I almost stopped reading it several times but I just couldn't bring myself I had just DNF'd a different graphic novel so when I was reading this one I'm like no I'm gonna power through this I'm gonna power through this and let me tell you I like did not like this now don't get me wrong like the graphics are really kind of unique I like them a lot of blood a lot of you know interesting illustrations they don't have like noses or mouths they just have the eyes and then sometimes they'll have an eyebrow like one solid eyebrow if you can see that so that's kind of unique it's a little bit of a different um way of of illustration but i can tell you the only thing i liked about this was the illustration i felt that the story was really dumb um there's an underlying like love slash angst slash triangle slash what yeah it there's it's not good i did not like this at all the humor was super dry which i love dry humor but it was it was so dry that i was like this I, i'm not even chuckling because this is dumb um and that really sounds harsh but i can tell you when i was done reading this i was annoyed that i got through the end of this <laughs> graphic novel so needless to say i probably if they have any more will not be picking it up um but i tried it and didn't like it so i did that i did um get a little bit into another graphic novel which is bob's burgers um these are great i mean if you like bob's burgers you'll like the graphic novels um they're extra stories they're not like sometimes what happens with tv shows is they'll just put the tv episode into a graphic novel i don't think they've done that here because i've not recognized any of these but basically what it is is um this is the volume so this will be all of the individualized um um uh comics that they would introduce like each 
month or whatever they do and they put it all into one volume and basically what each comic would have is um, they would have each of the kids like tell their little stories you know like you know when they've told like when they're in front of Mr. Frond and they're like no we didn't do this and then they go into the story it's kind of like that and I apologize if you can hear like guns and stuff in the background my husband is playing video games and it gets loud every once in a while <laughs> um but it's it's really good I love when the kids do their little stories um because they're always so bizarre uh so you'll have a story from each of the kids and then it goes to the next comic uh so um there's like one in here about tina being a horse power ranger kind of thing um there's also one where gene gene's always singing which obviously if you've watched the show you know that gene is a singer all the time so it's very very good um there's always like this random letter from Linda and it's always really weird it's called letters from Linda and this one's like dear apparently your parenting magazine first of all I love your magazine love 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 it I first came across it in the waiting room at my lady doctor's office everything's fine down there by the way I have what I think is a great idea for a column for your magazine it'll be useful informative and fun and then it keeps going on and she's like talking about like a whiny Mother's Weekly. So it's basically mothers getting together and drinking wine and whining about their kids. <laughs> so, I mean, if you know the show and you know the characters, this is definitely a fan kind of comic or graphic novel. So I have been enjoying that. It's been fun. Um, it was nice light read to kind of come off of reading all day for Dewey's. <clears throat> So I'm glad that I kind of got those few things under my belt. I do have a lot more reading to do yet for the month itself. Um, so I'll probably be spending a little bit of time doing that today. I um, have basically uh, Dorothy Must Die. I have to finish that for the month for my book club. And then I also have to finish um, Devil in the White City, uh, which I did not get to yesterday at all. Um, and this is a buddy read with Tara over at Buzzword Books. Um, so I need to get into this. So I might dive into this a little bit today and try to get a good chunk of it read. Um, but I also want to be able to watch the uh, Amazon Prime uh, mini series of Crime and Punishment so that I can talk to my um, read along group about that before our next live show. So, yeah, like I said, it is the morning. I did make myself some tea, so I'll be uh, drinking that. And diving into these books, hopefully, and getting that mini series done and um, setting off on a great week, hopefully. So I guess uh, now is a good time to say goodbye. I hope that you are reading something great, uh, taking care and staying safe as always. And you know how it goes. Happy reading. Bye.